what if you have so many ideas for workshop topics, course topics, um, maybe you have been polling your audience and they're giving you all this diversity of ideas, or maybe you've just been noticing their com people's comments, whether it's on your stuff or on uh, niche mates, social media posts like, oh, wow, I could do a workshop on that or create a course on that. Or so I, first of all, I mean, it's, it's, it's actually a good problem <laughs> to have so many ideas that because you have a market research mindset. So that's wonderful. Um, I hope you've written them down. And so you have, if you haven't yet, I think it's good. The kind of first thing to um, first step towards, you know, sim simplifying or overcoming overwhelm is just at least to write it down so that it's not floating around your head, just so that you can have it in one place, even if it's a simple bullet point list of, of ideas. And, and so once you have this bullet point list of ideas, know that they don't all have to be turned into online courses. Okay. <laughs> um, they can be content topics. They could be free to attend webinar, paid recording, you know, single webinar, or they could then be multi-session course, online course, workshop, whatever you want to call it. So let's just take those three formats real quick, easy. Oh, by the way, they could also be a one-to-one -one offering. You know, it's like, hey, I have a special one-to-one -one package for clients on this issue. So let's say those four, those four types, most of the, I mean, you know me, I talk about, I, I love testing ideas. So instead of committing to say, wow, I saw someone who commented on that. That's a really good idea. I'm going to create a one-on-one -on -one package, you know, about that. I mean, you could, you, know, you put it out there, maybe, maybe it'll work well. You could do anything that you feel intrigued by, but I think more reasonably, it makes sense to test more things on this end of the spectrum with content. Like, hey, someone mentioned how sensitive people can deal with this particular issue. Let's say that was that was your, you know, we'll write about that or make a video about that, you know, or make an Instagram carousel post about that. Let the most of your ideas be tested on this end of the spectrum, because if it does well, like, oh, people are really responding to it, then of course it makes sense to move into the next stage of testing, which is, hey, let me do a webinar, a free webinar on this, or free, free to attend paid recording webinar on this and see if people sign up and see if people show up. And if, oh my gosh, people are really enjoying that topic, really good. Okay, then a three session course, online course, you know, you kind of, you kind of there's, there's, a, there's an evolution of, you know, calling of a bunch of ideas as content, which then the kind of the, the, the popular ones get called into a free webinar and the popular ones and the free one, they get called into a three session course. And then it makes a lot of sense. Oh, people want to go deeper than the three session course. It gets, it becomes a one-on-one -on -one package. And so that's how I, not just I recommend, that's how, how I've done my content things. Sometimes, of course, you can just go by your interest and enjoyment, like you have a particular fire around a particular topic, it's okay. You can go ahead and create a three session course around it if you if you have so much to say around it, or you can go ahead and create a one-on-one -on -one package around it. Just knowing that, you know, you're 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 you you have you have a risk because you haven't there's no market signal yet that it's going to be a popular topic from you um, that that market wants it from you. So um, and then the the sort of secondary question is okay let's say there's, there's two months left in the year, which one should I choose for having an offer, like having a paid offer, a workshop or whatever? Then this is where ideally, again, you could look at your content things that you've posted for the past three to six months and see if there's a popular topic that makes sense to, to create an offer around. If, it's, if you wanna go the analytical method, if you just wanna go the, right brain method of picking from intuition, I think that's okay too. If you have a real energy around this and say, you know what, but then you have to be okay <clears throat> with whatever the market response is. Now, even in the analytical method, hopefully we are unattached, <laughs> but with the analytical method, there is more reason to expect a market response because you've kind of seen the market response along the way. So it makes sense that, of course, I should expect that more people are going to buy this three session course or this one on one package than some random idea that I came up with. Right. But if you want to go the intuitive route to say, I'm just going to pick something I have a fire about, 
just be unattached to what the market response is. And you create it, three people show up, you teach it anyway, and it could be something you keep selling on your website or you add to a bonus to another popular program that you have in the future. So, uh, so I would say, don't worry about the fact that, you know, there are, let's say two months left of the year or whatever. I think it's more important that you practice the, the way of calling your ideas down based on market response, if possible, or if not practice <laughs> detachment by choosing an idea and go, why well, I, I like this idea. I'm just, I'm just going to choose it because I, I like it a lot, but just be unattached to the market response. Either way, you're going to be practicing making offers. And that's the most important thing. Every time you practice making an offer, you are hopefully further honing how you launch things, how you say, okay, I'm going to do two social media posts. I'm going to send an email to my list. And every time, here's the thing, uh, this is important too. Every time you offer something, you are not only practicing courage, um, confidence, uh, and, but you also are in, in a way building your audience more. I mean, in terms of you're taking a stand for this is what I'm going to offer. This is what I feel confident enough to sell something on. And your audience go, got it. Noted, I'm going to think about you more in that light. You see what I mean? So, so, and not only am I going to think about you more in that light because you're confident enough to charge something about for this, but I might also tell other people the fact that you are an expert or you are a service provider in this realm. So I hope this is helpful. It's really okay knowing that with all these ideas, you have, to, you have next year too <laughs> to test. So just go with your sense of, do I want to pick something that's popular or do I want to just choose something that's going to feel fulfilling for me, no matter the popularity, just knowing that it's, it's all, you're, you're going to win either way. If you look at the learning that comes from the offering. So 